Hi everyone, welcome to A. Rodesky Genealogy. I'm Angela Rodesky. And how many of you have ever heard of the Three Little Bakers? Well, stick around. One of their descendants, Tony Mediato, is going to tell you the family history. I'm in Middletown and I met Tony here and I know Tony I've been to his restaurant a couple times to eat and he has a lot of history on the wall so he agreed to share a little bit of the history <laughs> with us so Tony how you doing I'm Tony Mediato um, my family is the three little bakers and basically their parents came over from Italy migrated to Wilmington um, they started baking bread out of their house which then in turn they opened up a bakery with that Everybody was going to school. My grandfather was in eighth grade and his mother passed away, so he had to quit school. So his other two brothers continued. At that point, they got into gymnastics and all this crazy stuff, which then in turn, they sold the bakery. My great grandfather worked there. My grandfather and all them, they went into the military. Just crazy, this whole story. And then they got into this acrobatics. So they were like the Circus Olay of our time. So they ended up doing all this craziness, traveling around after the service with all the big bands, and um, they were just up and down the East Coast. I mean, they, they were like, they were a big hit. Uh, until one day they did this three high where they would stand on each other's shoulders, and then they would tumble down. Well, that happened. My grandfather tripped a little bit on the curtain, so when they went to catch my Uncle Nick, because they would do um, back handsprings, and then they would catch him on my other uncle's feet, he actually landed on his butt, and his back, he, he torqued his back. So they had four more shows. After the fourth show, they went to the hospital and he had a broken back. So he, he actually oh my performed gosh. four more shows with a broken back. But because he was so muscular and right? strong, that's what kept his back together. So he was in a body cast. So then they came home and they opened oh. up a bakery. And that's how it all started. And then they, they started their bakery. And then from that, it went to 13 satellite stores. And then they wanted to get back in the entertainment business and they started their dinner theater, which then in turn went from that in Kennett Square to Pike Creek where they bought a country club and then built a thousand seat dinner theater. And they were in business for 45 years. And then I left the family business in 05 okay. and came down here to kind of continue that family name. That is great. I love that story. So do you do any of the flips or any of that? Did you ever do any of that? We would do certain things on stage <laughs> with all that, but other than that, no. We, my my fat, my media fit, we're wrestlers, so okay. we're always tumbling around on wrestling mats. So it kind of all goes together yeah, in a sure. way. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, for my pleasure. that. I appreciate it. Thanks, yeah. guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. See Bye. Ya. Hi everyone. I hope you enjoyed that video and hearing a little bit more on the history of the Three Little Bakers. Make sure you leave a few comments down below for me and give me some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.